Hey guys, so, continuing with sorting, we're going to discuss problem 04 today. The problem basically states that Monk is very busy with tasks because he's the monitor of the class. We've, we have to help his friend Mishki in one task. Mishki will be given the heights of all the students present in the class, and she needs to choose two students having heights H1 and H2 such that H1 is greater than H2. That is, both the heights should not be equal, and the difference between the number of students having height H1, or the frequency of height H1, and the number of students having height H2, or the frequency of height H2, has to be maximum, and the difference has to be greater than zero. And if there exists no such students, then we have to print minus one as the required answer. So the problem is pretty simple. We are given the heights of students of the class, and we have to find the maximum or the most frequent height and the least frequent height such that the difference between them is maximized. Looking at the constraints, n is smaller than 10 to the power 5, which indicates a simple linear time solution. Let's have a look at the sample input, output. One test case, six students, three, one, three, two, three, two. So we have three students with height three, two with height two, and one with height one. The answer is pretty straightforward. The most frequent height is three, and the least frequent height is one. If we try to frame the algorithm of this problem, the first step will be to design a structure to store the count or the frequencies of those heights. We're mostly concerned with the frequencies. H1 and H2 do not matter. They're just two heights and we have to assign H1 and H2 based on the frequency or the count of the heights. So when we design the structure, we sort the elements. We are sorting them because that will enable us to find the most frequent and the least frequent heights pretty quickly, which, can, which we can assign as H1 and H2, and then we can find the difference. So the problem is pretty straightforward. Let's try and code the solution. We take t. t for the number of test cases and run a while loop. Now the structure that we're using to store the counts or the frequencies of heights is a vector of data type int. And the ith position of this vector will store the count of ith height. As you can see here, we're running a loop and taking the height of all the students. The height that we take is stored in variable tmp, and we're incrementing the tmp position, or the height associated with tmp, by one every time the counter runs. So the heights of i will store the frequency of the ith height. Now this array, or this vector, will contain some counts which are the frequencies of certain heights. We have to sort them in a decreasing manner. For that, we can use the C++ sort function which we discussed in the previous videos. A new thing you might have noticed here is the R begin and R end pointers. Begin and end pointers are used to point to the beginning of the array and the end of the array when we are sorting them. But when we used R begin and R end pointers, often known as reverse pointers, they sort the array in the reverse manner and how they were supposed to be sorted. Because, say, the default we're using is the default sort function. It sorts the structure in the lexicographically increasing order. Then why are we using reverse pointers? This structure would be sorted in the lexicographical decreasing order. Now I could have written a custom comparator function to compare the heights, but again we need to learn how to use the reverse pointers effectively. After this step, we've obtained the frequency of heights, which is the sorted order in which the most frequent height will be at the first position, that is, heights of zero. We assign that count or the frequency as H1. Be careful, H1 is not the height. H1 is the count of the most frequent height, right? And now we have to search for the least frequent height. That is simple enough. We keep on searching in this vector Till we encounter zero. That is, there is no student of that certain height, 
and the element preceding this ith element will be our least frequent height because our loop will break at the element with frequency equal to zero. The previous element with frequency greater than zero will be our least frequent element. Now we have the most frequent element and we have the least frequent element. First of all, we have to check if the difference is greater than zero. This if condition is very important because the heights of all the students can be equal and then again, if we don't place this, it would be a wrong answer. So if it's written as zero, we print that difference, or else we print minus one. So the code looks simple enough. We design the structure for every test case, we store the count, we sort them, we take the most frequent element, we find the least frequent element, and we take the difference. One simple thing which you can note here is that H1 and H2 are the heights that don't matter. What matters is the most frequent and the least frequent and the difference has to be greater than zero. So we'll try and submit this. Yes. Cool. All accepted.